Alright guys, just wanted to do another video here, and uh, uh, we had a mission last night, we had a seed mission, we were actually uh, doing a seed escort. So I'd like to do a training flight on some missile, SAM missile uh, avoidance, uh, some techniques that you can use. And Basically on our mission last night, we are tracking an SA-2 further down the line, and all of a sudden this SA-3 pops up out of nowhere. I don't know if we hadn't seen it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't on our scope because all of us were looking at our HAD and uh, we didn't see the SA-3 and all of a sudden we're pretty much right on top of it and it starts f firing at us. Uh, so the SA-3 is, you know, it's a relatively shorter range missile than the other variants, um, but it, the missile's small and fast, it's according to one of the guys in our squadron. So it can accelerate quickly and it pretty much just waits until you're well within its kill zone and it then it uh, starts to launch at you. So I'm not even joking, uh, right about my one o'clock position, uh, about five or ten feet, no exaggeration, I saw that missile just come up and uh, I did a hard right turn and I looked down, I followed the uh, plume of smoke all the way down, the SA-3 is directly below us so it was just a perfect ambush, it actually destroyed two of our aircraft including myself our flight lead managed to uh, split S and uh, get down in dirt and actually uh, defeat the missiles and, uh, and another guy just uh, split out and RTV'd so it, it was just a classic SA-3 example. So right now my master arm is off, and um, I do have harms loaded. I actually have four of them, which is un uh, an unrealistic loadout. Um, in campaign, we're only allowed to uh, load up two, so I imagine that's true to life to the F-16. I haven't actually looked that up. Uh, but for training purposes and this tactical engagement, we have four of them. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how to defeat these missiles. So I'll go ahead and target this SA-3 so we can see it on the HUD. And there it is right here. You know, you s it seems like we're far away from it. 16 miles. And, and if you look at your HAD, I mean, it looks like, you know, we're... You first glance, it just looks like you're far away. It's in the middle of the screen. Our aircraft is actually there, so we're right on top of the thing. So that's kind of what it looked like. We're like, oh, we still got some distance, and actually we're right on top of it. Uh, so right now we're from the weapon engagement zone of it. And first thing you want to do is call beaming, and that's getting the missile on your 3-9 line. Not really, excuse me, not the missile, but the radar station. Okay? And what that does is it's very hard for the station to track your uh, progress. So right now he's beaming me. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the 3-9 line. And I'm going to throw the jammer on. Okay? So, again, that's just, look at the little wings of your aircraft. Put them at your 3, 3 o'clock position. Uh, 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock. So that 3-9 line, it makes it harder for him to track. So see how he's lost track? Um, because, one, I got the jammer on. Two, I'm beaming. Okay? Just putting him right on that 3-9 line, and uh, he's not able to track. So I'll throw the jammer off and see if he can pick us up again. Try to keep my speed up here. Alright. I'll turn back into him. And the purpose of this video is to actually demonstrate some uh, missile defeats of a uh, SAM site and to show you how to do that. So th there's a few ways that you can actually do that. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of dive towards them a little bit. Hopefully I can get visual on, on the launch. So, you know, they're patiently, he's patiently waiting. I'm not even getting scanned by him. He's yellow, so he's scanning, he's looking for me. There he goes. Now he's scanning. Oh, missile launch. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a missile Chaff launch. Chaff and flare. Chaff flare. Put him on the beam. And look, right away he's lost track. Okay? But so there's the missile. It's trying to. That one's not going to guide because he lost tracking on it. Okay? So there it goes right there. So I'm going to keep watching him. Okay, there's another missile launch. Oh, is that it? Yep. Chaff flare. Okay, now it's moving. See how it's arcing towards chaff, me? Flare. Now I'm going to break towards it. Chaff, hard, flare, chaff, chaff flare. Flare. Like really hard towards it. Break and break and break. Chaff, break. See how it passes? It's going to pass right over me. Okay? Chaff, flare. At this point, I'm going to bug out and I'm going to put him on my chaff, six flare, chaff, flare, chaff, flare. And I'm going to get the jammer on. Okay? Altitude. Altitude. So just get him right behind you at your uh, 180. Chaff, flare. I'm going to dive down Chaff, to the deck. Flare, low. All right. 
See how that missile? Gas flare out. It's not gonna track, okay? Because I got the jammer on. Whoa! <laughs> there it is, right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah. All right, so now we're down at the deck, down to five thousand feet. And he's gonna have a really hard time being able to track us now. All right, so to review, let's uh, just do some review here. Not too worried about him at this point because I'm, I'm a down. So underneath 5,000, uh, like Kraus said in his video, um, you know, a lot of these radars just can't track you. It's all based on line of sight. So again, three nine lines. See, he's on on the RWR. You can see the horizontal lines left and right. Uh, on the little uh, HSD here, you can see the wings of your airplane. Put them on three nine line, and then just use the mark one one. Uh, Mark one eyeballs here, and um, take a look at the window. So I know he's in that general direction. So you're hearing that screech because he's trying to lock on. He's trying to get a lock here, and he's just not able to accomplish that. You can see he's green on the hat here. Um, so what I'll do is uh, I'm actually recording this and and uh, in uh, ACMI. So hopefully we can uh, review this in the next video as well. Okay. Uh, so the primary thing is beaming. So this is beaming, putting them on that 3-9 line. Uh, the secondary thing that you can do, of course, is just throw the jammer on. Okay. Uh, one of the guys, Thumper, in our squad just talks about cycling the jammer. Okay. Uh, because it changes frequencies. And then he's not able to... Uh, he could lose lock. Okay. That jammer is just blinding his radar scope, so he can't he can't see anything so what they'll do is they'll change like uh, frequencies that they're, that they're scanning uh, and then he has to burn through your jammer to actually lock on alright um, so there's beaming, they're just throwing the jammer on, of course chaff and flare chaff is the primary uh, flare is not really going to do anything against a radar guided missile and yeah, that's only for infrared, man pads, low level type stuff uh, maybe a uh, infrared guided uh, missile that's launched by a MIG and that's gonna you know track your engine it's heat seeking uh, whereas you know it's pure chaff a lot of times on the program we have both chaff and flare set up okay so I'm gonna head towards this guy and I'm gonna lock him up on the head and I'm well within the engagement zone one thing we discovered was that was that uh, I'll throw the master arm on magnum Okay, one thing that we discovered, and again, is that if you're well within this uh, weapon engagement zone, about halfway, you'll get a really good probability of a hit. If you try to launch at maximum range, the probability of a hit is much lower. And if they turn that radar off while that missile's in flight, it makes it much more difficult. So once you launch that thing, you don't have to uh, keep... You don't have to keep... Um, the radar, I mean, or anything like that. I mean, that harm is really, it's a high-speed anti-radiation missile. So it's its like a, uh, you know, it, it's like a dog that's sniffing out radiation. And that radiation is coming from that radar emitter. That's what it emits, a high level of radiation to track targets. Okay. And I see some smoke over there. I'm thinking that's at SA-3. Let's look on our, yep, on our HAD. That thing's gone. Alright, so the way you know you killed it is you can visually see that there's smoke out there. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video. Okay. See that smoke over there? And we know that that was the location. If we look on our HAD, it's disappeared. And our RWR, it's no longer tracking. So I'm going to go ahead and go back towards that direction. I'll keep my jammer on because that SA-2 is taking a look. Um... And then the last two ways are terrain massing. By far the most effective way of defeating radar lock is just going down in the dirt, <laughs> uh, flying that to the earth, and getting getting terrain between you and the radar. So what I what I tell my guys is, you know, don't fight the missile first. Fight the radar. Okay, you're fighting the radar. Uh, you can defeat the missile before it's even launched. All right. Um, so there's no reason to fly, if you're flying a seed mission, there's no reason to fly high level escort. Uh, the higher you are, if you're at 30,000 feet, that just means that you're going to have that much more altitude to dive down. And that gives the missile a lot pull more room up, to track. Pull up, pull okay. up, pull up. So right now with this SAT, for instance, I'm going to get some terrain between me and him. And see how he disappeared off the RWR? 
Alright, it's completely gone though.